Of course, you guys know Bruce and Tom, and where are we headed? We're headed to Lodi, Wisconsin. It's a beautiful November day. It's supposed to be 60 degrees. This could be one of the last times we detect this year, right? Hopefully not. Nah, nah, nah. we'll be positive. Let's see what we can find. Okay, other than the fact that I look like a midget right now and Bruce looks like seven feet tall, we're okay, but uh, listen, we met with the homeowner here, and this house is in a location, I guess this is the oldest house in the area, late? Late 1890s. 18, 1893, I think, yep. something like that. 30 years. Supposedly, the, you know, it, it borders the original road. There's a road in the back. The backyard's pretty big. Yep, pretty deep. Um, you know, it's an oddly shaped yard, that's for sure definitely and bigger than it looks but um the homeowner told us some really interesting things supposedly it's haunted uh and she actually shared she's been in the house for how long she said four months four months and in that short period lots of, time, of activity ton. i mean yes. i saw a couple freaky videos that she shared with us of like a doll moving um uh, a car or a toy moving a toy moving and um her children believe they they saw a young girl outside by the on a tree. tire swing. Tire swing. Husband, so. th husband thought he saw um, something by the garage, a being by the garage. And and the dog doesn't apparently want to be outside for too long. Not but time, right. who knows? But anyway, we'll get started, and as usual, we'll show you what we find. All right, Tom is down there doing the curb strip. Okay, I'm starting out here in the front yard. I've already found some modern clad. Tons of signals. Okay, let's take a look at this. It was ringing up as a 93. This is gonna be some kind of token. Take a look at it cleaned up here. Interesting find. It reads Dakota Territory Centennial, 1861-1961. And on the back, Good for 50 cents in trade at any cooperating business or redeemable at face value at the office of the Dakota Centennial Incorporated, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Oh, this is an awesome find. All right, chasing a 1718 signal. Got some kind of a ring here. I don't think it's going to be precious metal. I think it's probably just going to be costume jewelry. Okay, Bruce just found that ring. I found my second wheat scent here. We have a lot of property here. We haven't even scratched the surface. Okay. Work up here next. Here we go. All right, Bruce is on to what he said sounds like a nickel signal. Now it's looking like almost like a teapot, but it's got something coming out of the bottom there too. It might be writing on it. I have to clean that up. Oh um, my god! Some type of fob or key keychain or not sure. It says National Editorial Association, Minneapolis, 1917. We can make out a tree. Possibly a waterfall. Waterfall. Maybe a couple hugging. A couple hugging, yeah, or dancing, yeah. Wow, really interesting protrusion there. Gosh, There's I have nothing no on idea. the back that I've noticed. National. National Editorial Association. Yeah, nothing on the back. Wow, I great find, brother. Googling on that one. No kidding, that'll be fun to research. Good job. I don't know. I was worried about her house being haunted. This could be a telltale sign. Okay, this is why I love the way I have my pinpointer set up. I have a magnet here on the end, and I'm searching here for a signal in the low 90s. Could be copper, maybe some silver, but it had a grunt on the edge of the signal, so kind of thought it was iron, but it's real small. I was having a hard time finding it, but all that I do is stick this into the hole and tamp it, and let me show you what happens. Okay, so here we go. I've got my magnet nested inside my MI6 and I can just hear it and boom, it clicked right on there. So huge time saver. In addition to everything else I love about this pinpointer, I love how I've added that to it as well. Okay, I'm excited about what 
I think I just saw here, pretty deep, was ringing up a bouncy, oh gosh, I'll say um, 71, 72. I think what we have is a Chinese coin here. Can you see that? Wow, really cool, really cool. Never found one of these. I know people find these quite a bit. Let's get a good look at it. There we go. Wish I could tell you what that says, but I can't quite thin. See that, folks? I think we have silver there. Ninety-four. I think we have a mercury dime. That's what I'm going to call it. What did we find here? Oh, a silver quarter, I think. Maybe. Nope modern quarter all right you never know what you're going to find metal detecting look at that tom found <laughs> snoopy okay tom found this it there might be a faint inscription here on the front he said the drawer comes out i'll let him deal with that but i don't know pill box snuff box folks what do you think okay Tom thinks that we have a Masonic symbol on there. Yeah, I see the Masonic symbol on there. Come on, you see the bell, don't you? We think this is dating back to the Knights Templar. Could it be? Could be. Good job, Tom. Okay, Tom. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Is that, that... Is that a spoon? Gosh. You know what it looks like to me? I have no idea, but like sugar tongs. Oh yeah? I have no idea. You're probably right. You know? One lump or two, Tom. Mm -hmm. What do you take with your tea? None. None. Oh my gosh, look at the fancy on there. Oh, that's awesome. Very thin. Yeah. Very light. I'm I'm sure I, I wouldn't try to open it. No. Oh, great find, brother. Way to go. Yeah. Okay, what are we looking at here? Uh, we're standing right in this clump of trees right here. That slope right there is the slope behind us. Oh my gosh, awesome. That's the house right there. You guys, okay. You guys just did the dog pen, the dog kennel or the run. Mm -hmm. Beautiful photo. Where did where did you get the photo? Uh, it came with the house. Actually. No kidding. Yeah, that yeah. is awesome. Yeah. Thanks this for sharing. House, yeah, this is a house built in 1902. It's actually on the Department of Interior's uh, uh, National Historic Registry. Wow, for three different reasons. Yeah, the architect, the district, and the uh, type of home. And that is, that's your house? Yeah. yeah that's that's this house right here, Pine is there, okay. Awesome. So love yeah. it. Beautiful, thanks for sharing that. Sure, Oh wow. my gosh. So what we're looking at here, um, the neighbor of the home that we're detecting has also graciously given us permission to detect his property. And this is something, you just happened to find this? Yeah, it's along the, like where the wall used to be. Wow. Yeah, that sure looks like a turtle to me. Some type of totem, as you said. And you said we're not far from Devil's Lake, Wisconsin, which... Yeah, seven miles, eight miles. Yeah. And, and there's a bunch of known effigy mounds there. Oh, yeah. But this is, this is so old. This is an incredible artifact. Thank you for sharing that. Look at that, folks. Wow. And you also found some float copper, you said. Yeah. So this area, we've talked about this on earlier videos. This is area is rich in float copper and uh, I had some friends that found copper awls and and spear points right you know that they made oh, I'd well. love to I'd love to be able to find something like that oh this was a great hunt here we are going over what we found with the homeowner and we were excited to donate these back to her and her family for display in their home